I'm not telling you not to read, but just reading the word is not going to, because there's people that can tell you, quote you, That's they can right. quote from here That's to right. here, and they live, su they live a, such a far away life of God than anything, because they, all they did was read the That's word, right. get the anointed word. Holy Spirit, I'm going to have some dust on my yes. feet because I'm going to work tomorrow. You help me to understand this word that it'll anoint and take that dust. Yes, so get the word. Find some anointed teaching. If you say, man, I don't understand this. Holy Spirit, show me yes. the washing of the word. <coughs> when all it takes is letting the water of the word wash you. That's all it takes. And I'm guaranteeing you, if you'll take this, 2012, You'll say, Satan, I laugh in your face. Mm -hmm. You know why? He can't devour you. Right. He can't take you down. He can't make you fall. Why? You're constantly washed by the word, by the water of the word, that I no longer have dirty feet. You know, he can seek all he wants. He's going to find my feet clean. Isn't it funny when we did have the washing? How many washed their feet before they had the washing of the, when you have the... <laughs> Come on, but some of us that are a bit older, we know. We make sure our feet was clean, our toes were no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or we keep our socks on. Ooh, I got some ugly feet. You ain't looking at those. I keep my socks on. But Jesus, he says, I'm going to wash you, Peter. He said, go ahead, God, wash me. Wash me. I need washing. Because he didn't realize that he was going to get up and preach to 3,000 people. Right. And every one of them was going to be saved. Yes. Because he was being washed by the Amen. And so next year, oh man, we start ministering. And next thing you know, the community is just set free yes. because of the washing of the Amen. word that's going on in this new life in church. Let's just pray. Father, I thank you for your word. I ask tonight, each and every one of us, we all need to be washed today. Every one of us, God, every one of us live in this world. Every one of us is being affected by this world, by what we hear, what we see, all this stuff, Lord. And I pray tonight, this word, that we will say, wash my feet. Wash my feet by the word. That we might be walk with you. That our walk will be cleansed. And Satan, he can try to seek all he wants in this church, but he will find none. Because we're being washed by the water. Yes. And we'll give you glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to raise my hands and I'm going to give it to the word. Yes, amen. More than ever before. More than ever before. Tell you, we got to get the word. we got to have that relationship. With God, we've got to have that relationship. You know, it's kind of funny. I was just reading and praying the other night, and I was just sitting there and I was just reading my Bible. And before I just started praying, I just got knelt down on my bed and I just opened the Word and I began to pray. And I just began to mention things that the Holy Spirit was just bringing to me. And Man, I started reading the Word, and it just brought it out so clear to me, and I was just really just meditating on Jesus. And, and little did I know that at 3 o'clock in the morning, the enemy was going to deal and, and come against my son. At 3 o'clock in the morning, he come in our bedroom, and he was crying. And the enemy was attacking him so hard. And he started just pouring his guts out to us. He just started pouring himself out. And I was so thankful that I had got into the Word three hours before, or two hours before, or whatever. Because when the enemy came in that night to attack my son and to destroy his mind, and and to hurt him and to take him down, that the Holy Spirit was right there. And I said, go in the front room. Like after he after he just told us what the enemy was doing to him, and I said, by the authority of the name, all three of us got up 
we were in the front room and we began to pray and intercede and I'm yes. so thankful Amen. that all three of us were in the word and all three of us were seeking God's face on a daily basis that we had the authority yes. in the name of Jesus Amen. to take and bind that spirit of hell that was coming against him and right there in the front room of my house from 3 o'clock to about 5, we just prayed and we thanked the Lord. And we rebuked the Spirit. And we rebuked it and we cursed it. And I went and took oil on my hands and I anointed every door yes, and every window that went into the outside. And I said, tell you, the lost. That's right. Amen. 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 And there was Amen. such freedom after we tarried and after we prayed and we, we bind that spirit of hell that come against him because it's come against her and it's come against me in the middle of the night. I don't know, there's something about 3 o'clock in the morning that the enemy really attacks. Yes. So pay attention at 3 o'clock in the morning when yeah. you're up and the Lord has laid upon you to pray for somebody because yes. there's something about That's that right. 3 o'clock right. hour yes. that the enemy comes against Amen. because he's you're come right against her at 3 o'clock in the yes. morning. When she come just landing on the bed, says, Tim, I need you to pray. Tim, I need you to pray. And we start praying. We had to bind that again. And it's happened with me too. Yep. So pay attention yes. about a 3 o'clock hour. That don't just take it for lightly. You look at the clock and it's quarter after 3. Oh, well, that's too early in the morning. No, recognize that. Get up. Yes. Get up Amen. and begin to intercede because you don't know what the Lord is trying to do right then because I'm telling you what, there's something about that. Yes. Three o'clock hour and I'm so thankful that the Lord laid upon our heart to be in the Word yes. and to be praying and seeking His face to have that relationship that when that enemy came in that night that God just says enough enough. That's right. And I'm telling you what, when we prayed those couple hours Tell you what, the Spirit of the Lord came yes. and set him free. Yes, amen. And we were speaking life. And the Holy Spirit, you remember that one Wednesday night when we sent the boys to college, that Brother Dalen was saying there's a spirit of prophecy to so begin to prophesy, but be careful, be careful what you prophesy. How many remember that yes. service? Yes. Well, that same anointing came in my house, and I began to prophesy over people in this church. Amen. I began to prophesy, that way you can't win. That's you right. You have to loose them. That's right. And I began to prophesy over the finances of this ministry. I began to prophesy over things of this ministry and over the people of this ministry because I felt it in my spirit and I said be careful what you prophesy and I was just speaking that and I tell you what we walked out of there at 5 o'clock and we went back to bed and we got a good night's rest because the enemy lost yes amen so what the word that just went right along with what we were feeling in our house you know it's just like man stay in the word now, I mean, when the enemy comes against you, all you said, in the name of Jesus, yes. because you've been in the Word. Amen. You've been on your knees praying. You have that relationship with Christ. Yes. And so there's a power, there's an authority, and there's anointing that you can say in the name of Jesus. Yes. No, the devil has no power. She said, bold as bold can be, the devil has no power. We give him the power. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Can we just praise him? Thank you, Jesus. God, I thank you for that word. I thank you for that word. I thank you for that word that birthed in our spirits, God. Lord, that you will birth in every one of us in this place a desire and a hunger, God, to have relationship with you. Lord, not just to read the word, but meditate on it. Dig in it, Lord Jesus. Birth it and plant it in our spirit, God. And as we pray and as we seek your face, Lord Jesus, Lord, I just pray that you will impart us the word of God. Impart to us, God, the word, the victory, the over coming supernatural power of you in us and through us God that we can be more effective God have your way in us God have your way in us 
Come on, I want you to begin to prophesy over yourself right now. God, I'm getting into the Word because I know how desperate I need. Church, you don't know how I felt when my son come in there and said, I need you to pray with me, Mom and Dad, because, because the enemy's fighting me. And it seems like all this stuff, he just starts spilling out everything. And then I knew that as soon as he was speaking, it was a lie from hell. And the enemy was so attacking him that I thank God that I was in the Word. I thank God that I was on my knees praying and seeking his face that I could have the authority in the name of Jesus to say in the name of Jesus, you lost devil. Man, I thank you for the power and I thank you for the authority that we have in your name, Jesus. God, I love you so much and I praise you and I thank you. Lord, for your impartation of the word in our spirit tonight. Lord, I thank you for what you've imparted in us tonight, God. That we will take it, that we will be planted in our spirit and in our heart and our mind, God. That we will never, ever not want the word of God. Lord, but our hunger and the desire birth that in us. In our heart, in our mind, in our spirit tonight. Birth that in us. God, the desire and the hunger to be desperate for more of you in the word and in prayer and in supplication, God. Lord, to worship you and meditate upon you all day long, Jesus. Every breath that I take, Lord, every moment I'm awake, Lord Jesus, you want to have your way. Have your way. Come on, can we just sing that song? If we all could, just close your eyes and just think about the Lord. Just think about Him. Lord Jesus, just have your way. Have your way in me, Jesus. Lord, I want to live. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Every breath, every step I take, God, that is of you. Lord Jesus, have your way. Have your way in me, Lord Jesus. Lord, I prophesy that. God, your will be done in me. Lord, your will be done. Your complete, divine, perfect will and purpose for my life. Lord, your will be done in me, Jesus. Lord, I surrender to you. Take, Lord, every moment. Lord, every moment I'm awake, God. Lord, Jesus, have your way. Have your way in me. Lord, I surrender to you. Lord, I surrender to you.
somebody, a friend or a family member that doesn't know us, but they know you and they know you go to church, are you going to be able to grab their hand and say, let's pray right now for the victory is ours, says the Lord. Come on, I'm encouraging you. Stay in the Word. Stay in the Word. 